Welcome to the future of energy. In this video, we'll be showing you how to access your system online and what it all means. To get started, you need the URL, which is www.foxessscloud.com. You also need your username, which will be your job number. For example, that could begin with SPUK or PDO. And finally, you need your password. You can then press sign in. On the left hand side, you will see the gray box. Click on the down arrow adjacent to the word sites and click my site. This gives you an overview of the site. It gives you today's yield. That's the energy generated during the day from the PV panels. It gives you the monthly yield. That's from the start of the month to whatever day you are looking at. And finally, it gives you total yield for the system. So if your system has been in for a while, this will give you the cumulative total. You do not need to use this figure. For information only, it is the total yield multiplied by the current maximum SEG rate available in the UK. However, because it's not able to distinguish between energy used in the house and energy exported, this figure is not accurate in the UK. Scroll down and you'll find the site information. Initially look at status. The green tick signifies that the system is working normally. If there is a fault on the system, this will show the alarm indicator. If it shows as offline, this means the system is disconnected from your local Wi-Fi router. If you now go over to the right hand side and click on the more options box, which looks like a little page with a magnifying glass on it. You can now see the overview information repeated. Here on the right hand side, you can see that there are no faults showing. Scroll down to the power graph. Here you can see output power, which is the work that the inverter is doing. Feeding power, this is energy that's exported to the grid. And load power, this is the energy that you're using within your home. If you go back over to the left hand side and click the down arrow next to the word device. Then click inverter. You now have all the serial numbers associated with your system. It tells you the model of the inverter. It tells you the data logger serial number. This is the device that transmits the information to the internet and it gives you the inverter serial number. This is usually located in the loft or in the garage and it's where the DC energy from the battery or from the solar panels is converted into 
AC energy which is usable within the house. Again go to the right hand side. Click on the more options view. In addition to the device status, you now have another box, which is battery status. So in this particular case, you can see that the battery is 76% full, and it's currently discharging at the rate of about 600 watts. This voltage here tells you how many batteries are working on your system. The batteries are between 50 and 54 volts each, so here you can see there are two batteries connected. Now we get to the exciting part, the energy flow diagram. You'll see there are a number of icons. The yellow one here represents the PV on the roof of your home. However, there are two types of system that we install, either DC coupled, where the PV on the roof and the battery are connected to the same inverter. And then the other system is AC coupled. This is where the PV and the battery have different inverters. In this particular case, the energy then would come from the blue icon showing the house. This system therefore is a DC system. You can see that the battery is currently discharging and the energy is being converted to usable electricity for the house and feeding the load that's been taken. There is no energy coming in from the grid. So at this point in time, this house is totally independent of using grid energy. We scroll down, you can see the power graph. Each of the graphs on this page can be viewed independently. So for example, This tells you what the inverter is doing. In the early morning, the inverter was operating from the battery, picking up the load of the house. Here, you can see, this is the peak generation on this particular day. Unfortunately, the weather is fairly inclement at the moment, and so this hasn't peaked particularly high. Feeding power is the energy going to the grid. This will occur once the battery is full. If you do not have a battery on your system, the feeding power is likely to start soon after the generation begins in the morning. Charge power is the amount of energy going into the battery from the PV system. Discharge power is the amount of energy being discharged from the battery. During the day you can see that there were certain times when the level of PV generation wasn't sufficient to support the load. Grid consumption power is energy taken in from the grid. Here in the morning, this is after the battery had been depleted during the previous night. And so until the battery started to charge, energy was taken from the grid. 
But as you can see, during most of the day and the evening, no grid energy was used. If you now scroll down to the bottom area on this page, and you'll see this grayed out box. If you click on the little down arrow, this brings up a drop down box which has a number of options for graphs that give you information on how the PV and the battery system is working. The most interesting part of this to watch on a day to day basis is SOC, which stands for state of charge. You click on this and then on the word search it shows you what the battery has done during the previous day. So as you can see on this graph at midnight there was 34% still in the battery and this depleted during the early hours until around 4 o'clock when it reached 10%. The batteries need to retain a minimum charge of 10% to stay healthy. Around about 8 o'clock you can see it started to charge the battery just a little at first but then this ramps up as the amount of generation from the PV increases until eventually at around 2 o'clock the battery was full. This is the point in time when energy starts to be exported to the grid. Later in the afternoon at around 4 o'clock in this particular day you can see the battery charge starts to deplete. This is as the energy from the PV falls away and the demand from the house needs to be picked up by the battery system. As long as this is above 10%, the battery will continue to support the load in the house without any call on the grid. That's all from us. If you have any queries, please feel free to get in touch.